The fixture is shown here with the main line boring blocks already in position. Place the line boring fixture onto the milling machine table. Place the front of the fixture facing the right angle drive unit. The two lifting jacks inside the fixture are used to vertically align the block during the main boring process. Start by using a socket to lower both jacks until they bottom out. Install the 2 inch precision support bar and adapter rings using stock bore size front and rear main caps. Align the flat sides of the adapter rings at the parting line of the saddle and caps. Tighten, then torque the main caps to keep the bar and adapter rings properly in place. Using a scale, carefully measure the distance from the crankshaft center line to the intake manifold surface of the block. Next, install, measure, and adjust the shim pack on the fully lowered lifting jacks so there will be less than one eighth of an inch clearance between the engine block and the jacks once the block is lowered into the fixture. Remove the main line boring blocks from the fixture and fit the main boring guide bushings and bronze adapter sleeves into the blocks. Slide the assembled main line boring blocks onto each end of the 2 inch support bar. Check the distance between the main blocks and rough adjust them to align with the front and rear end plates of the fixture. Thoroughly clean the bottom surface of the top blocks and the mating surface of the end plates then carefully lower the block into the fixture. Take care that the alignment dowels in the main line boring blocks slide directly into their sockets in the fixture. Any foreign particles or damage between these surfaces will cause errors when boring the main tunnel. Attach the mounting nuts and tighten them to hold the blocks firmly in place. Evenly tighten the two fore aft clamp screws at the same time until the block is resting evenly and firmly against the rear bump stops. Install the four adjustment brackets onto the side plates. Engage each clamp mounting screw into the slot machine near the top edge of the plates. Slide each bracket forward or backward in the slot to find an appropriate spot for each adjustment screw foot to contact the engine block. Snug down the four engine block adjustment screws, taking care not to swing the block severely to either side as this will complicate the final dial-in of the main line. Adjust the four adjustment bracket screws and the lift jacks on each end of the fixture until both main line boring bushings can be removed. Next, loosen the two main caps and completely remove the two inch support bar. Remove the main caps and adapter rings from the engine block. Install and torque all of the main caps that are to be bored. Reinstall the mainline boring bushings and remove the bronze sleeves. Please note that the following steps will be illustrated with the main caps removed for added clarity during the dial-in process. Beginning on one end of the fixture, remove the indicator tip from the setup indicator. Liberally coat the body of the setup indicator and the inside of each mainline boring bushing with fresh motor oil and slide the setup indicator into the bushing. Install the appropriate indicator tip that will contact the saddle of the main bearing bores. Rotating the setup indicator back and forth, dial in the main bores. Vertical adjustments can be made using the lift jacks and horizontal adjustments made with the four adjustment clamp screws. Repeat this dial-in process on the opposite end of the fixture, checking the snugness of the four aft clamp screws from time to time. Double check alignment on each end of the fixture and adjust until the engine block is adequately dialed in. During the dial-in operation, 
Keep all adjustment screws equally snug at all time. Make adjustments by tightening and loosening opposing screws. Do not over tighten the adjustment screws as this will spring the side plates and cause errors during the boring process. Firm finger tightness is adequate. Remove the mainline boring bushings from the blocks. Next, oil the mainline boring bar lightly. Insert the mainline boring bar through the mainline boring blocks with the universal joint towards the right angle drive unit. Handle the boring bar very carefully. Any nicks or dings in the bar will cause it to bind in the steel bushings. If it is dropped and bent, the bar will not bore consistently sized holes. Reinstall the mainline boring bushings over the bar and into the mainline boring blocks. Give careful attention to the bushing lock notches as they lock in opposite directions. Place the appropriate bushing on each end of the boring bar so that they will lock with the rotation of the boring bar during the cutting process. Lift one end of the boring bar and slide the first bushing in the end plate approximately one eighth of an inch. Lift the opposite end of the bar and slide the second bushing in and lock it. Then, return to the first bushing and slide it in completely and lock it as well. Align the fixture with the right angle drive unit and attach the boring bar to the drive unit by inserting the universal joint drive tip into the collet and tighten. It is not necessary to clamp the fixture to the table when in use as it will stay in place from its own weight. The remainder of the process will be illustrated with the main caps in place. Prepare the mainline boring bar as follows. Insert the boring unit into the bar and assemble using the back retaining bolt. Using the appropriate wrench, rough adjust the tool by turning the dial to the approximate diameter with the retaining bolt tightened only sufficiently to tension the assembly. Using an Allen wrench, tighten the back retaining bolt and back off approximately one quarter turn. Calculate the required tool protrusion by subtracting the boring bar diameter from the desired final bore diameter and dividing the result by two. Using the V-block indicator, zero the indicator on the boring bar surface and set the tool protrusion as calculated. If more than one quarter turn is required, the back retaining bolt must be readjusted. After reaching the final setting, Retighten the back retaining bolt and recheck.